What's up, guys? So, uh, I made a trot line for catfish and basically anything that bites. It's um, wrapped around that bottle right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set out a trot line with some hot dogs on it on the brick, and the water bottle's gonna be floating. I'm gonna go set it out up there. And um, I'll get back to the, when I get back to the pier, I'll show you guys kind of where it is. Um, I'm gonna leave it out all night, check it in the morning, see if we can get some bullhead or some catfish up there. So it's a little bit dark out, but that's okay. So over there, there's a lightning storm. Or a brainstorm, whatever you want to call it. And, oh, dang it. Hmm. So if you see my finger right here, just about straight down that way is where my uh, bottle is. And that's connected to about 25 feet of string or line, 300 pound test. And about every one, one and a half feet, there's a, a line with a hot dog on it. Piece of hot dog. So I'm gonna leave this out overnight. Probably set a rat out with hot dog and minnows on it. Got some, you guys can't see them. Hmm. Well, there's a bucket with minnows in them and I'm gonna set that out with the hot dog on it just right off the pier for some bullhead. Okay guys, so I actually ended up getting some bullheads yesterday on that trot line. I had originally planned to have six hooks set out, but I only ended up setting out five. Caught two of them. Here's one of the carcasses of the bullhead. The other one's over in the weeds somewhere. So, checked it out in the morning, had two on, pulled them in. Slater right up over here. Here's one of the tails. Piece of the skin. I, I was using hooks like, circle hook like that. Zoom in a little bit. Circle hook like that. And then some, um, just like your average bass hooks. And some, uh, so the main line that connected all of them together was 300 pound test. And then, I was gonna trash here. I did, the th what had the hooks on them was 40 pound ice fishing braid. And then that was connected to a brick over there. I don't know if you guys can see. That was also connected to this bottle. And on the bottle I had this red line which had, oh, two weights on it which are somewhere over here. And I set that out, and that's what I used. Like I said, I grabbed them, I flayed them up, which the flays are right over here in the freezer. Right here. Lighting, okay, there we go. Four flays in here. Each one is about like six, seven inches. We um, got some bass in there, bluegill behind that. And so now what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna take this extra line that I managed to get off of the tangled up mess over in the trash. And I'm just gonna decide, I'm just gonna put some hooks on them, probably tie them to some uh, sticks and set them out in that lake right over there, probably right here. And right here, that looks pretty cool. Looks like a full size swan. Cool. So, I'll set those out and come back for another video, which will probably be tonight. So, I'll see you guys 